How's it going you guys? It's me BSA Trooper here and before I get started in today's video I just want to let you know I'm just giving a big shout out to my friend Micro Self TV. He is a cool YouTuber. He's a great friend and I highly recommend you guys subscribe to him. You can tell it's in Spanish but he only has four subscribers and I want to give a big shout out to him. Please subscribe to him. He does pretty good videos. And on to today's video. So today I'll be reviewing the Transformers Age of Extinction One Step Stinger. Now I did want to let you guys know that he does have some of his black paint scratched off, but that's okay. I don't really care. But he, if you've seen the movie, you know he was invented by the he invented by the humans to kill the Autobots. And he is a one step into he is a Decepticon, and he was he was released as a Walmart exclusive here in the U.S. And in robot mode, he would he was the clone of Bumblebee, but in vehicle mode, they're both different. They were they were both had different vehicles, but the same robot mode because Stinger was invented by the humans. If, if you've seen the movie, you know he had he can turn into a million pieces and turn into robot mode, and he is uh forgot I forgot how to say the name of this vehicle, but it's a pretty cool vehicle. He like I said, he was released as a Walmart exclusive. Now it'd be nice if Hasbro did a deluxe version of this guy, except they, there is one, but it is only by the car Tommy. So it's a Japanese, it's a Japanese exclusive. Sorry, I can't talk today. But Stinger here, hang on. Stinger is an awesome vehicle. And in the movie, you know, he got killed by Bombi. And I, can, I don't have the box. I can't find the box right now, you guys. But it's a pretty good box, trust me. It will show you that he is a Walmart exclusive, like I said. And he one of the coolest Decepticons I had, and it would be nice in the back, uh, if I can keep this, the bag, hang on, it's hard to see on my camera, but, hang on, in the back, would be nice if his, oh there we go, his tail lights were painted, the back of the vehicle were painted, you can, painted, you can see his legs, but, nothing you can do about it, he does work pretty well, see, and I transform him, See, see that, see that? Well, uh, hang on. Oops, sorry, guys. Ah, oh, sorry. Sorry about my camera. Ah, there you go. There's Stinger. In the in in robot mode, he is the same as Bumblebee. Just he's just all red. And then it'd be nice if you can cover his backpack, but nothing you can do about it. And He's a pretty good robot. Pretty cool Decepticon. Articulation, only the legs. Only the, not the legs, only the fists can go. Uh, they're not ball joints, you can tell. See? See? Do you like, pow, pow, pow. Be nice if you did that. Now, for comparison, here is next to Deluxe Lockdown. The bounty hunter. Intel lockdown's a little bit taller than Stinger. I guess they don't. They don't. Now, of course, they don't scale to me. They're not scale together. Because in the movie, if you seen the movie, Lockdown was, had a fight with Bumblebee, and he was like around about this much, like at the end of my my finger. He was about, Bumby was around, that was around there, like, at Lockdown's waist, it looks like to me. Now, Lockdown was pretty tall. So, yes, Stinger does not scale with Lockdown. Okay, I forgot about Evasion Mode Optimus Prime, but I say he almost scales in Vehicle Mode with Prime. Except the this is the old truck Prime. I guess he almost scales with Stinger, almost. I say, yeah, uh, yeah, right there, he did not, in that part, I say he doesn't scale, but on the top, 
Yeah, I say. Yeah, I think he almost scales with Prime. I think I say almost. I say almost scaling with Prime. And for robot mode, I say it's okay. And but they're, it's a good figure though. If you can still find him, I would recommend you get him. I would give this guy say a. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Having bloopers today. I say I give Stinger uh I would give him a seven out of ten, I guess. But he's a good figure. I reckon he is worth it. He is worth your money. Except wait for it to go on clearance. If it's if you think it's a little too expensive, wait for him to go on clearance. He he was about for me about ten at Walmart, of course he's an exclusive. He's about I can't I can't remember though, it's been about a year since I got this guy. About ten dollars I believe. Except the one steps at Fry's, they're about twelve bucks, twelve dollars at Fry's. But this guy is pretty awesome. I recommend I recommend you get this guy. See. Thanks for watching.